Cherry Bomb by Christman is a short, shwave, schmop, Papico 8. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Today's game is called Cherry Bomb by Christman, the developer, and it's a short shwave shmup. This is another um, shoot 'em up that was made. I say another. This was the shoot 'em up made for Christman, also known as Laser Devs Academy, his um, fantastic tutorial series in Pico 8 for how to make a shmup in Pico 8. The video, the game that I played last week, uh, Space Battle is based on this tutorial series you might see some familiar faces then if you watch the video from last time anyway let's get this loaded up this was the game that chris man made as part of the tutorial series so you can watch this game being built up from scratch over many videos and you can learn in the process and learning is fun especially if you're learning how to make pico 8 games anyway it's that part in the video where i talk about the title screen yeah this is the title screen We've got Starfield there, we've got a nice little animated little thing on the Cherry Bomb logo there. Um, actually, by the way, let's just skip back out of this game, because there's something I want to highlight. I don't know if I can even show you this, but how do we do it? I don't know if there's a way to do it. Just check out the artwork on this, um, like, what do you call this, like the, the cart image, the cart art, the cart art, that's what I'm going to call it. It's the, um, the little picture that you get on the cart as part of the game, and it's what is loaded up in Splore as well. And yeah, it's really, really cool. You can't see it because the menu's in the way, but just just check it out. There's a really, really cool like spaceship zooming off. It's just fantastic. Yeah, Chef's Kiss on the um the 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 cart art, <laughs> the cart image, whatever. It's just good. Okay, right. I'm gonna go back into the game now. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make this game, uh, check out the link down there. Look, learn how to make this game. It says. Yeah, it's a lovely tutorial series over on YouTube. Go and check it out. Anyway, I'm here to play the game, aren't I? So, let's press any key to start. It's a shmup. We can move around the arrow keys. We can hold the um, button. <laughs> Which button is it? Is it the circle button? It's because I'm using a PlayStation controller. I always have this. I think this is the cross button. Yeah. The cross button. The X button. Um, shoots. You can um, collect cherries. And if you um, decide to, you can unleash your cherry bomb, which I'm going to do now. And blammo, that's the cherry bomb. Oh yes, a lot of fun. Yeah, each cherry that you pick up adds to the power of your cherry bomb attack. If you get 10 cherry bombs, then you can get some, um, get a life back if you've taken a hit. If you've got full health, you will get some points. So I'm sure that the way to score big points in this game is by not getting hit and not using cherry bombs. But why would you want to deny yourself the cherry bomb? Because it's, it's so much fun. It wipes out so many enemies. So each level we have a formation of enemies. There are many, several, a few <laughs> different enemies. Each has their own particular type of attack. More dangerous ones are worth more points. These green ones in the middle, they're a bit of a pushover. Um, the, those silver guys on the outside, though, they're cheeky. They've got a little look. They, they, they attack you sideways. That's, um, that's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Um, there are, oh, 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 there are other ways to um, score more points in this game, if that's your thing. Um, I'm just trying not to get hit. That's what I'm That's what I'm aiming for. Oh, I love the cherry bomb. It's so much fun. Um, this game, as you would expect from Chris Man, it's so well presented. Um, look, there are particle effects. You know how much I love particle effects. And check those out. Um, blowing up every little enemy is a treat because of the particle effects. I love them. Um, the animation, look, there's just animation all over the place. Animation um, I love in Pico 8 games. And um, I love the animation in this. Oh, no! Oh, I lost the... I lost a, a life and then I got lost a cherry. Damn it. Yeah, you can see those um, big enemies. They've got a rather nasty attack pattern. We need to prioritise those guys. Um, this game doesn't get too bullet helly. Um, I've said several times before that I'm not super keen on bullet hell style schmups. Um, this... Oh, 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 no, that was too risky. This game gets um, just about close enough to bullet hell for my, for my taste. 
It's lovely. Um, yeah, so I'm going to probably be struggling to um, to finish this. I'd love it if I could um, clear the game on my um, first attempt in the video. Talking and playing at the same time. Not one of my um, strong suits, which is really helpful when I'm doing Let's Play style reviews of games. Really helpful, that. It's the end, boss. Check this guy out. Oh, he's got, a, he's got lots of attack patterns. He's got a little blinking animation there. He looks a bit like a Keiko demon um, from Doom, of course. And check out that music. I love a bit of good boss music in a game. Um, it just makes you more anxious. It um, excites. It frightens. It sets the mood, doesn't it? Yeah, I love the boss music in this game. Here we go. Oh my god, these bloody attack patterns. <laughs> um, nice little touches that I appreciate in this game. The animated bullets. Um, all the enemies, I think, fire the same bullet. This um, red and blue flashing bullet. Nice and easy to, um, to see on the screen. Very classic. And, oh! Oh! Such a good boss fight. Um, this is a short shwave shmup. So, oh, there we go. A new high score. Fantastic. And I had one life left. So that was... That was just lovely, wasn't it? Um, yeah. It's a short shway of shmup. It would be so nice if this game was longer, but I can completely understand the length of the game being as it is because it was made in a tutorial series. But, you know, it's nice to be left wanting more, I suppose, isn't it? Um, maybe I should have a go at making this game via the tutorial series, and maybe I should make it longer. I don't know. Anyway. I want to play it again because it's so much fun. We can talk about some of the nice interesting mechanics that are crammed into this game. Little interesting little touches, little flourishes one might call it. So, let's um, collect some cherries so I can talk about the cherry bomb. See, it's these little touches, these little um, little details that Chris Man puts into his games, which is um, what I like about them. Aside from all the fact that it's really well made and really fun to play and that the gameplay is really good and the graphics and the animation is really good. No, it's the little details that, um, right, when you fire a bomb, it clears the bullets on the screen, okay? Nice. If you clear bullets from the screen, that gives you bonus points. Subtle. I like it. Um, anyway, I, oh, I don't really have a time to use it now. I was hoping to uh, have, a, have a wave where I'd be surrounded by bullets. Perhaps I should save it for one of those um, really nasty bullet hell guys. Let's see if I can get through to that then. Actually, no, I really want to... Yeah. <laughs> I just want to fire the cherry bomb. Oh, it's so much fun. Um, collecting the cherries as well. I like that. I get a, a nice little dopamine hit picking up those cherries. The sound effects between levels. Du -du -du -du. Really good. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I love the different attack patterns of the enemies. Um, I watched Chris Man stream some of the other games that were made. He, what he did, he organised a kind of game jam um, based on his tutorial series. So the idea was if you followed through the... Um, oh, I just realised I just lost my cherry power. <laughs> the idea was then if you had followed through the tutorial series and made your version of this game... You could submit it to a jam, and then Chris Mann would play it, and then, yeah, hilarity would ensue. And it was really cool seeing, in some of those games, the kind of same attack patterns kind of come out time and time again, and seeing Chris Mann get um, hoisted by his own petard, um, <laughs> getting tripped up on those enemy attack patterns. Great fun, I love it. Oh! Right, I think we've got... Here we go, so look, that big gold guy in the middle there with his bullet hell... Oh no, because look, the cherry takes them out, and that hopefully got some points as well. But if it's got as many points, I guess we'll find out. Um, it's interesting how the um, enemies in this game have quite um, take quite a few hits. It gives the game a nice feel. A lot of shmups, um, you only have to hit an enemy like once usually to kind of to wipe them out. It is nice seeing um, enemies that we need to um, chip away at a little bit more. It does make it more satisfying, and yeah, the um, oh, the the shooting in this game and the, the movement—it's so crisp, so like chunky, and just mm, really good. Yeah, check out this game. You can play it on Splaw like I'm doing. You can play it on Itch. 
you can watch the tutorial series to learn how to make it. I'm sure it's probably available in some other form. Is this on new grounds? I don't know. Maybe. Should be. It's good enough. Anyway, yeah, check out new grounds. There's lots of Pico 8 games on there. Oh, it's the end boss. Right, I'm gonna try and use the cherry bomb here because I want more points and I don't want to get hit by bullets. I'm sure that, how many points I actually get us there. I love the design of the Ender Boss. Nice big sprite there. Animated as well, a large animated sprite. You do not see that often in Pico 8 games because of Pico 8's limitations. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh my. This is tense. <laughs> I'm doing remarkably well on this second run. I haven't taken a hit yet. Um, tried before a fall and all that. Let's see if I can get through without taking a hit. That would be superb. I think I probably did take a hit, but it was earlier on, didn't I? Did I take a hit? I can't remember. Anyway, that's a new high score, though. Sweet. Boom! <laughs> Music at the end, a little jingle. Lovely. So there you go. Cherry Bomb by Christman, everyone. You need to have a, have a play of this game. It's so well made. It's so mm, inspiring. I would highly recommend anyone who wants to get into making Pico 8 to start by making a shmup. That's how I made my first Pico 8 game. I made a shmup. It's there's so much fun to make. So easy to make. You can just keep adding things in and just you don't have to worry about planning things out. You don't want to plan things in your first game. So yeah, if you want to get into making um, a Pico 8 game, this is a great place to start. Check out that link down below and make your own shmup. Your own short shwave shmup. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, go and check out Chris Mann over on the various socials. I'll put links down below. And yeah, cheers for watching. And like, happy Christmas and things. Look, I've got my, my, my Tannenbaum back in the background there. Look, just, just lurking. Hola. Anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you again very soon.